Shalom, my Yarok friends. It's Mrs. Steinler. I'm really excited to be with you today. Today is Wednesday, March 18th, and we are about to start our morning meet. Gosh. So please come over and take a seat, and we're going to get ready. Okay? Shalom, Yaladim. Shalom, Yaladim. Shalom. Shalom. We're so glad you're here. We're so glad you're here. Shalom. Shalom. Okay, let's see who's awake this morning. Boker Tov, Yaladim. Wow, you guys are so loud. You guys must have lots of energy today. I'm so excited. Okay, Yaladim, this morning Mifgash is a little different because we're watching on a video instead of being together in person. This is the first time I've had a morning Mifgash on the video, and I bet this is the first time for you too. So things are a little different, but the rules are somewhat the same. You have to find a place to sit where you're comfortable, or maybe you're standing for this morning Mifgash, and you still have to have your eyes on Mrs. Steinler, your ears are listening, okay, and your bodies are still, and you're gonna talk when it's your turn, okay? So, we are gonna start with counting sticks today. Now you might be wondering, who is gonna be our line leader and counter? And I have really exciting news for you. Every day, you get to be the counter. So what you need is you need 50, pieces of something to count. So Mrs. Steinler has 15 Legos to count today because we don't have our counting sticks with us. Maybe you have counting sticks, maybe you have Legos, maybe you have 15 Cheerios or 15 um, uh, Magnetiles, 15 cars, whatever it is you can count with whatever you want. But we're gonna get started so please get out whatever you're gonna count with, and we're gonna count how many friends are watching the video with us today. Okay, ready? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, I'm gonna move mine over. 10, 11, 12, 13, oh boy, move this back. 14, and 15, if you can see all those. Look how many friends are watching today. We have 15 friends. I'm so glad you guys could all make it. Okay, so now we're done with the counting sticks, so you can put your counting sticks away. I'm glad everyone's here today. Hope everyone's feeling well. So, this might be a little bit confusing why we're watching Morning Meef Gosh on a video and we're not at school. Sadly, school is closed right now. And we hope that school is going to start again soon. But we don't know when school is going to open. And so until it opens, Mrs. Steinler and Miss Landman and Miss Flegelman and Miss Odessa are going to make videos for you guys to get to watch at home so that we can still have class and be together. Now, the reason why school is closed, your mommies and daddies might have been talking to you about how some people are getting sick because there are some really, really yucky germs out there. And I know our class has talked so much about germs and how it's not good to put our fingers in our mouths or to put our fingers in our nose and that we have to sneeze with a tissue and that we have to cover our coughs in our germ pocket because these germs that are going around are so powerful. But if we remember to keep our hands out of our mouths and our fingers out of our noses and we're not touching our eyes and we remember to always wash our hands really well, then that means that the germs aren't going to bug us and we won't get sick. Because I don't want you getting sick or your mommy and daddy or a sister or brother or grandma and grandpa 
and the school is closed now to make sure that the germs don't get to other people, okay? And you are so lucky because you get to stay home with your families. And I'm home with my family. I'm home with Chase and Charlie and my husband, Mr. Seinler, and my dog, Callie. All of those people you might hear in the video because they might walk in while I'm doing this. But we all get to be at home. So it's a little bit of a confusing time. And I have a lot of feelings about what's going on. And I was wondering how you're feeling. Can you tell me, how are you feeling about not being at school? What? Shout it out really loud. How are you feeling? Whoa, those were a lot of different feelings that I heard. I heard lots of different feelings. I'm feeling lots of feelings. I'm feeling more than just one feeling. I'm feeling happy that I get to be at home with my kids and spend time with them, just like you might be happy to be at home and spending time with your mommy and daddy and your family. But I'm also feeling really sad that I can't be at school with all of you. And I'm also feeling really frustrated about it. Sometimes I just want to go outside and I want to see my friends and I want to go to school and I can't. And that makes me very frustrated. And also, I'm a little bit worried and a little bit scared about what these germs are. And it makes me nervous and I'm confused by it. So Mrs. Steinler is feeling a lot of different things, and I bet you are too. And you guys shared so many of your feelings that you're feeling. And I know that when we were talking about Purim and Queen Esther and all the feelings that she felt, we talked about a lot of feelings. So I thought maybe we can make the faces, just like we did for Purim, to express some of our feelings. So first, Mrs. Steinler is happy because she's home with her family. Can you guys show me a happy face? Mrs. Steinler is also very sad because she's not at school with you guys. Can you show me a sad face? Mrs. Steinler is also very worried about these germs that are going around. Can you show me that worried face? And sometimes I might be even a little bit scared. And I know lots of you like to cover your face when you're scared. Can you show me a scared face? And also, maybe you're feeling a bit confused. Maybe it's a confused face. There's a lot going on, and we can feel a lot of different things, and all of those things are okay to feel. And it's important that you tell your mommy and daddy all your feelings that you're feeling. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on some of my feeling faces. We just did it with our own faces, and now I'm going to work with Play-Doh. And I'm going to make faces with Play-Doh. And I'm wondering, could you take out some Play-Doh? Or maybe you want to draw a picture. Or maybe you have something else you can make a face with, like slime or um, wire or beads. You can even make faces with Cheerios and Legos. So I'm going to make some faces today with my Play-Doh. Okay, so we're going to... See if I can move this computer so you can see. So first, I am going to make a happy face because I'm home with my family. And that makes Mrs. Steinler happy. But I'm very sad too because I'm not at school with my friends and that makes me sad. But also, I'm going to make a worried face because I'm worried about all these germs. So I'm going to make my nose, and my eyes, my nose. And I'm going to make a mouth that's worried. So that's my worried face. And maybe I'm even going to make a face that's scared. Maybe that's my scared face. 
There's a lot of different feelings you might be feeling. So those are some of Mrs. Steinler's, but maybe you're feeling different feelings. And I think it'd be fun if you experiment with your Play-Doh and make all the different kinds of feeling faces you have. And if you want, you can even take a picture and share them with us. Because I would love to see them, because I miss you guys so much. Okay, Eladim, that's all for today's morning meat gosh. We're done here. You can go ask Mommy and Daddy what's next, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for morning meat gosh. Shalom, Yaladim.